Hey, stop hitting everybody in the back of the legs with pussy willows. Now it's Bobby. So guess what? Today I am going to celebrate the holiday of Easter. It is a beautiful holiday and one of Bobby's favorites because it's all about candy and, and marshmallows and jubbins and chocolate and like it. Bobby's coming down now. Bobby is fine. So today we are going to just try a few of the Easter um, candies that you can get. Fact! Easter is celebrated under the full moon and usually around March 21st. But secretly there's another Easter. It's called Greek Easter. And it happens a few weeks later. Bobby does both Easters because Bobby loves an Easter candy. And when you do Greek Easter, you get the candy for half price. Wink, wink, wink. Fuck! The Easter Bunny legend began in Germany. And the bunnies were supposed to be a symbol of the pagan goddess of spring and fertility. So if you saw a bunny, 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 you're gonna have a burberry, burberry, burberry. So today I'm trying three different chocolate Easter eggs from Philadelphia Candies. That's the name of the company, Philadelphia Candies. And we have three of them here. So we're gonna start with the first one we're gonna start with is the coconut egg. Ooh, dark chocolate coconut egg. It's in a beautiful box. You could give this gift to someone, like take the chocolate out and just give the box. And there's a rabbit saying hello to another rabbit. And um, you know, don't forget, bunny, bunny, bunny. And so um, you open it up and it is, um, the egg, chocolate egg is cradled and nestled in this carrier. Look, it's actually quite healthy. It's got a nice weight to it. And you see it's got designs. And look at that, a little pink flower on top. I could swallow this thing whole. I could probably put this whole thing in my mouth. Oh, but I'm not going to, I'm going to. Oh, that did it. Oh, it's not so bad. Look at that. Oh, there's coconut. And as they say, it's enrobed in chocolate. You know, like sometimes your mother's enrobed in a robe with a glass of white wine on the couch and she says, get out of here. That's how this is enrolled. So that's all coconut. Bobby's not the biggest fan of coconut, but here we go. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, the chocolate part is hard. That is pure coconut. They just shove coconut in there. They want the survivor. They crack over the coconut and just shove the coconut meat in. It's good, it's not bad. The dark chocolate's pretty good. It's got a nice bitterness to it. Slightly sweet, a bit sugary. But it does have that weird saliva and sugar that gets stuck and makes you go, oh, oh, what? There's a little bit of that. But that was the coconut one. This is a peanut butter one. People don't know this, that most rabbits, when they poop, it's peanut butter. Like, you can eat that. Like, if you're ever stuck in the wild, you see a rabbit poop, go ahead and eat that. That's just peanut butter eggs. So here it is. It's similar to the other one. It's just milk chocolate this time instead of dark chocolate and it's the same flour on top. We're just gonna go straight for the knife this time. Oh, that cuts, that cuts like a knife. And there it is again, look at that. They just went to a jar of Skippy peanut butter and they <laughs> just shoved it inside an egg and somehow made the chocolate stay around it. You might eat it. Oh, wow. The word subtle comes to mind <laughs> and it shouldn't. I don't think peanut butter Chocolate egg should be subtle, but I can barely taste the peanut butter and I barely taste the chocolate. This is just tastes like sugar on some peanuts. It's very smooth on the inside. It just tastes like sugar with a slight peanut taste. Here's the third one. I'm so still excited though. Milk chocolate potato chip egg. There's chocolate and there's gonna be potato chips in here. Bobby couldn't be happier to mix crunchy foods inside candy. That's always a good idea. Oh, this has a completely different design than the other two. This has a yellow flower and a beautiful basket on top. Bobby thinks this is the most beautiful egg he has seen. <laughs> okay, Bobby, calm down. Cut it. Bobby's going to cut it instead of trying to eat it off. Oh, this is a little harder to cut. Oh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. I think I have to do it in... Oh, look at that. Actual potato chip in the chocolate. Okay, here I go. Okay. This is the same milk chocolate from before, 
but the potato chips are very crunchy. They are not soggy at all, and they are salty, and I like a salty sweet. And that is not bad, but the chocolate is still kind of sugary instead of more of a chocolatey. All right, I am ready to do my review. Philadelphia candies, each egg, dark chocolate coconut. On a scale of that sucks to spit it out, I say to spit it out. You are surprised, I am too. The coconut was too weird tasting and the dark chocolate was good but too bitter. Not to, you want a little bit of sweetness. On the peanut butter egg, on the scale of that sucks to spit it out, I say, Spit it out! Oh, you are surprised again! I, I, yeah, me too, because there's no flavor to it, really. It's a subtle peanut butter and sugar, and I do not get the chocolate at all in there. Now, on the last one, the potato chip on the chocolate, on a scale of it sucks to spit it out, I say, it sucks! They got it good on that one, because the potato chip is crunchy and salty, and the chocolate, even though it's too sugary, the potato chip saves it. And it tastes very good because you give the differences of the salt and the chocolate and the sugary. I'm very excited to spend my Easter with that egg. I shall take that egg and I will put it all in my mouth in one bite as soon as I leave this from you. Don't forget to hit the like and the notifications and the commentaries. And I hope you have a nice holiday and I will be back.